What sets Regenex apart is really three different things. Number one is how we do the draw to get your stem cells. Number two is how we process that to maximize the number of stem cells. And number three is how we precisely do the reinjection to make sure you get the maximum concentration of cells in the specific area where they're needed. Many times the area that you want to treat is relatively small. Let's say you've got arthritis in your thumb. The thumb joint will only hold uh, about a cc or one ml. However, when we do a bone marrow aspiration, we can take 60, 90 to 120 cc's. So how do you get rid of all the stuff you don't want and just get the stem cells? Well, that's what we do with HDBMC. HDBMC, which means high dose BMC or bone marrow concentrate. Bone marrow concentrate is a same day stem cell procedure. We concentrate those stem cells so that we can place them back into a small joint and have the maximum concentration to maximize your results. And we up the dose to increase your chance of success with this procedure. Right now in regenerative medicine, your doctor really doesn't know the dose. In fact, he really doesn't care. However, that's not the right way to do this. Primarily because we need to know the dose, so we need to get that dose as high as possible to give you the best chance of success. So one of the key important things that you need to do, be able to get to HDBMC, is you have to be able to do the draw correctly. That's where you're taking the stem cells, the raw material out of the patient. So we'll draw from multiple different sites to maximize the number of stem cells. Whereas many other doctors just draw from one site, most doctors that do this kind of work only take 60 cc's from a single site. The problem with taking 60 cc's is anything past the first five or 10 cc's is just blood. It's not really stem cell containing bone marrow. So if you take 60 cc's, you're getting about 10 cc's that contain stem cells and about 50 cc's that contains no stem cells. So obviously that's a problem. Now, if you take 10 cc's from multiple sites, you'll have a whole lot of bone marrow aspirate that all contains a lot of stem cells, which is something that we require all Regenix physicians to do, but less than 5% of all physicians doing this work take the time to do. Most doctors who process bone marrow aspirate to get to stem cells, all they really know is they've got a little kit, they put it in the kit, they put that in the machine, they close it, they push the on button and that's it. At Regenix, we do it very, very differently. We do this by hand so we can customize the concentration to what the doctor needs on the other end. So let's say the doctor might need only one cc. We can put all the stem cells into one cc. Let's say the doctor needs five. We can put them into five. On the bedside centrifuge side, meaning the, the little machines that doctors have, all you get is 10. So it doesn't matter if you need one, you get 10. You need two, you get 10. You need five, you get 10. That's the problem. On the reinjection, we precisely target the areas that have problems. Now that's a very difficult thing to do. It requires lots of training in image guided injections using ultrasound or fluoroscopy. But it also means that we maximize the number of cells in the damaged area. Now you could just inject the joint blindly and call it good, but that's not what we do at Regenix. So at Regenix, as you can see, everything is different from the, how we take the cells to how we process the cells to how we re-inject the cells. And that means a better outcome for you.